Hey guys, it's May May, and we are back again decorating in my master bedroom. Today I thought I would do the canvases I had mentioned, and I want to show you that canvas real quick. I'm going to be using this burlap canvas, shocker. We had not done enough burlap, have we? And it's kind of one of those thick ones. Let me see the measurement. Hang on one second. This is the actual canvas here. This is the information about it. I got it at Walmart. It's burlap. It's um, a 12 by 12, and it is, um, I think, 5 or $6 at Walmart. I can't remember. It's either $4.97 or $5.97, something like that. And I bought two of them. I just love these guys. And what I'm going to do... Here's the situation with mixed media. You can put as much as you want to into it or as little as you want. I don't want to overpower these canvases. I really want these pictures to stand out. And I want to talk to you about these pictures. What I did was, some of you may remember, I bought a book from the thrift store a long time ago that is um, a University of Alabama alumni book. And I got it for like a dollar or something like that. And I love the pages. They look like, um, they look like, dictionary pages to me and I really like them. So what I did was I went out online and I looked up some free vintage printables and you and listen it's so easy just google free vintage printables or um you know what you're specifically looking for and you'll find free ones that you can use and I just put these onto a um, page document you can do it on a word document and I just kind of laid them out now this is just a saying I just made up in my head a true gentleman rare and wonderful because I think my husband is a true gentleman and he is rare and wonderful and then this one is actually a quote from Coco Chanel and it says fashion changes but style endures so I kind of thought I would do one of these for each of us one for him one for me and my first thought was they'd go on either side of our bed but I think I want them to be a little bigger statement than that so we'll figure that out as we go but let's get started and we're going to do this kind of simple and kind of quick and to the point okay let's start with his I like this torn edge I'm probably going to tear some more so I'm going to come over here and do a little more tearing um I don't know if I should tear all of it I think I will just a cause There we go. Do a little tearing down here. Now all I did was take this paper out of the book, pick out the page, the pictures that I wanted, made them black and white on my computer, and ran this through my regular printer, um, and it did it for me. I thought that was super cute. Now the next thing I want to do is kind of wrinkle this up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to wrinkle this up a bit. I know, I know, I know, but not too much. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to ink it. I'm going to use Vintage Photo, which is my favorite for distressing and an ink blender tool and I'm going to run over it to try to pick up those wrinkles. And I'm going to do another canvas for the room that's going to take a lot more detail. Um, I have a really exciting thing that I'm going to, I'm really excited about it anyway. I hope you guys like it. But I thought for these two I wouldn't go too crazy because I want that canvas to really be more of the standout. And this is something, if you needed to do a present for somebody, this is something you could do in no time and just hook them up with a beautiful canvas um, and they would think you spent forever on it. I love how this ink picks up on the corners of, these pa of this page so good. Okay, so there's one. And I'm going to go ahead and do mine while we're at it. And by doing it this way, I'll get a pretty good matching set because I'll remember what I'm doing. If I were to do one and then the other, I'd have to kind of look at them and guess, you know, what did I do where. Plus, I can kind of finish them at the same time doing it this way. I know this seems um, maybe more simple than you might imagine for this, but like I said, the room, I don't want to clutter it. I just want to do some pretty, you know, complimentary pieces and I think that's what this will do. Oops. I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to ink it anyway but I ripped it bad. See it? <laughs> Alright. Now I could have done that you know tighter but I really don't want to lose the integrity of the picture so I just want the ink to pick up some. PJs. 
it's late and I'm just wanting to get a head start because YouTube is taking forever to load my videos lately. It's not YouTube's fault. Let me take that back. I'm using the updated version of iMovie. Um, and I'm not sure how to make it work like it should. So it's taking me a while to get stuff loaded. I apologize, but I'm doing it as quick as I can. All right, I think I'm done with this for now anyway. I'll move that out of the way. Move this one out of the way. Bring my canvas back over. Now I have a couple things I got that I want to use. I bought this at Michael's this week. How adorable. And I bought one for mine too. Mine is a Florida de lis that beautiful and this was for Vince's canvas I just love this timepiece and it was um these were two dollars they were so pretty and so substantial then this little guy is just a scrap of paper that I thought looked really cute with the top hat the pattern on it it came from in my scrap drawer I really don't know where I got that one from then this I think this is cool and this is where these came from this came from Hobby Lobby and it's for mixed media isn't that cute and it was a dollar five on the clearance rack and you get four of them so I'm gonna use one on each of our canvases and so, I'm going to start, ooh, make a mess. I'm going to start gluing down. I'm going to use Mod Podge for this, just because it's one of my favorites. You could probably use Tacky Glue, Quick Dry Aileen's. I'm going to be kind of generous on the glue on the back of this because it's going to be on that um, heavy weave burlap. This is fun for me. The last couple of projects I've done have been a little more... Um, structured where I had to you know spend a little more time like making the faux birch and making the curtains and things like that I had to spend a good bit more time and so this is fun because I can just kind of play it's a lot to be said for mixed media where you can just kind of go at it nothing wrong okay so I'll we'll stick this dude down I just love this it reminds me of my husband so much that's the other thing if you're gonna do this put things on it that remind you of yourself or your husband and you know or just what you see whenever you think of him like my husband is a suit wearer he wears suits almost every day to work um, not when he's you know hanging out at the house but when he's working and I really like the idea of this kind of being down here and look it needs ink too so let's ink it for the most part, what I'm going to do on one, I'm going to do on the other. Just maybe in different locations on the canvas so that they'll be complementary canvases to each other and not matching canvases, if that makes sense. You know, not cookie cutters. I like this rug, rugged edge on here, too. Oh, what I really like is that this is going to be so simple and easy to pull off. So let's see if I want to use this in this area before I put that down. I kind of thought about running it something like that. And then, and it's good to lay out so you can see. I really wanted this here because I want it to pop. I want you to really see that. Another cool thing about your mixed media is just dig in what you've got. This is a great way to use what you've got. This is a lace, and I know that lace may not seem very manly, but this one is very matte, and it seems very masculine to me. So I was thinking about running some here. This is something Taylor gave me that I really like. I like the way that lands. Let's bring that back. I wish I had some chain. We'll see if I do. I'll be right back. So I do have some chain. Check this out. This is a cameo I bought at our local 99 cent store. And I bought it to craft with. So I'm going to take the chain off of it. At first I thought I would wear it. But I have not found anything to wear it with. And I think it's a little bit bright for me. So I'm going to take this chain off. I'll save the cameo. I might use it on something else. We have a great 99 cent store. I love it. Oh, that's going to be cute on there. Let's see. The 
the jump ring is really bendable and I don't need it to hold it really I just want it to be in place look at that with the chain then I can just swirl the chain up and around and I have a brad I want to use on here so I could use it in that area oh isn't that cute love it simple and that's what we're gonna do okay we're not gonna go crazy I'll find some scissors and cut this off and I'm not even going to go around the edge because I, I may do something different on the edge. Okay, so let's start gluing down. You could hot glue some of these bigger elements down. That would be fine. But I'm in no hurry for this to dry, so I'm just going to use my old Mod Podge. Again, I don't really want the edges stuck perfectly down. Just gonna stick that. I forgot to glue this down. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so I got those down. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let's put the lace on. Now this lace is that peel and stick kind, so I am going to peel it because I want to get that white off the back so you don't see it through the lace. And I'm going to see how it sticks. I may, ooh, it's pretty sticky. I'm thinking I might need to add some glue to it, but wow, is it sticky. So let's just see what happens. seems to stick really good actually okay let's do do you see how fast this is coming together I mean fast and just why I'm saying this could be a gift um, simple elegant I'm gonna stick this brad through here I'm gonna go ahead and put it where I want it to end which is somewhere in this area see that pretty brad okay flip this over and close it on the back Okay, so I've stuck that down. That looks so manly. Now, I'm going to put, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down to get it into place so I know it's in the right spot. And I'm going to use a lot of Mod Podge. You might want to use E6000 on this, but again, I'm going to let this sit for a long time. For at least overnight, and it will be just fine for what I'm doing. See how much I put on there? Oh, a lot. Okay. I'm going to flip this over. Sit it down. I'm going to decide about this chain, how I want to do it. I want it to look loose and messy. I am going to use my tacky glue on this. Because here's what I think I'll do. I think I'll draw a line with my tacky glue and then put it in there. Remember the tacky glue is going to dry clear anyway so it won't be a big deal. I'm going to stop here to see how much chain I've got left. This is going to work good because that chain is really sinking into that. I think Vince is going to love this. This is right up his alley. Okay. I want it to come back. I 
have a friend who's making jewelry right now. And she was telling me tonight at church that she's got some craft themed items. I'm very excited to see that. Like craft themed um, charm bracelets and stuff. Won't that be cool? I'm looking forward to seeing that. Okay. Don't worry, it dries clear. It's messy now, but it'll be fine. Good deal. Let that dry. And... I'm going to sit this side for a minute, and we'll start on mine. So, first things first, we're going to stick this dude down. I don't know if I've ever told you, but I'm quite the purse fanatic, so <laughs> the purse makes perfect sense for me. Very much in love with purses. Okay, I need something. Oh, I could use lace, too. I could use a couple pieces of lace. Let me check my scrap bin. All right, I decided on zebra paper. Doesn't that make perfect sense for me? Oh, yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> so, let's glue this down. So I'm kind of doing the same thing, but just like the opposite. So that way, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but like if you buy artwork at the store, you'll kind of see the same, but complementary layout. So if I hang these on the wall, they'll complement each other. I should say when, because I know they're going on the wall. I want to do another one of those canvas pieces down here. Oh, did I, I showed you this, right? And this is going to be the highlight of mine is this floor to leave. They're so meaty and cool. It's going to go in this area. There's that. And then, I'm going to glue it. Oh, I don't want to cover up Chanel, Coco Chanel. Maybe I'll take mine this way. Just to be a little different. I like it. I sure do. Now I'm afraid I'm going to have to use E6000 on this because it has such a sunk in or is that convex back? <laughs> concave, right? It's concave when it goes in. That's what I got here. So you can correct me because I don't know that stuff. And then I'm going to need this because it's going to have to stick really good. I don't think I can get enough Mod Podge on it. Okay, I'll put this right here. Don't want it to cover up Coco Chanel. Love that. I love it, love it, love it. And now, I think I'll run me some lace as well, but I want to put it closer to the bottom and under that piece of paper, I think. I don't know. Maybe I want it to go up the side. I kind of like it going up the side because I have an idea for something else. So I'm going to put it here. I cut the length. You could so wrap this around. It wouldn't be any issue to just wrap it. Then I'm going to peel this sticky off. Or the backing off of the sticky. Lay that down. I think I told you that lace came, that Taylor gave it to me, but I think she got it at Michael's. And then look, these are the last two of these I have left. They are these beautiful sequin brads from close to my heart from a long time ago. And one of them I had turned into a bow to put on something I did a long time ago and it didn't turn out well. And I thought I might could use it here. Somewhere. Like there. And I thought that might be cute on that shoe. <laughs> I love that. Love that. Okay, let me poke a hole through here to put it on. Push that in. Close that down. Doesn't that look cute on the shoe? It is so cute. You'll be able to see it better in pictures. 
I don't know. Do I want this over here? Up here? Oh, I like it up there. I think I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to put it down with some of my craft glue. I love it. And that's it. Now you could do plenty more. You could play with this. You could add stuff all over the place. But I wanted it to be simple and I wanted this picture to really pop. So that's where I'm going to stop. But you could add bling and pearls and just go crazy. But I don't want it to be too starkly different from Vince's. I want it to be pretty close. So that's why I'm going to keep mine this simple and keep his simple. And I will show you guys pictures of this in our room. And now we have two new pieces of artwork in no time. And remember, I spent $2 a piece on these. All of this came from my stash. So this is stuff I already had for years. These brads I've had since, I don't even remember, like three years. Um, so you don't have to spend a whole lot. Just dig through what you've got. Now, I did purchase these canvases. But if you have some leftover burlap, you can always wrap a piece of cardboard or wrap um, a box or anything to make the same look and give yourself these canvases for the wall. So there you go. You'll see these on the, um, on the wall in the pictures. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Just thought I'd give us something quick and easy for tonight. And um, I will see you again next time with another project for our master bedroom. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.